Hello, I hope that this finds you doing really well. I pray that you're healthy and that you're strong. You see me smirking right now because my son just walked out and interrupted my recording. My dog just walked by on the deck and made a bunch of noise and my kids are inside. You can probably still hear them in there yelling and running around. And that's just the way it is right now. Um, and and it's, it's kind of interesting, all living so close together all of the time uh, with no breaks for work, no breaks for school. But there's some real silver lining to that and that I get to spend this time with my wife and my kids and we're getting to enjoy each other in ways that we've never had the opportunity to enjoy each other. I hope you can see those silver linings as well. I wanted to take just a few moments and share with you a few of life's, what we call in our family, life's formulas that we keep to but we're struggling to keep to right now. And if we're struggling with them, maybe you are too. The first one is our finances. So in our family, first with our finances, we give, number two is we save, and number three is we spend, but we spend less than we make. And right now we're finding some struggles with that because we think about our giving and we go, boy, how much should we give when we have no money coming in? Or we think about our savings and we go, should we be saving everything because we don't know what the future holds? Or maybe with the spending for us, it's, boy, it would sure be nice to spend some money right now down at the hardware store in order to do the projects around the house that I now have time to do. The third life, we call life for, excuse me, the second life formula that, that we are struggling with or working with and trying to maintain is our health. So typically, I would encourage our family and we strive to have some physical exercise every day. I get up really early and go for a run. Then we have healthy foods and, and it's, it's easier under a schedule to maintain that health. But right now, well, Sometimes I'm not as motivated to get up early and go for a run. And let's just say that my daughter made a batch of cookies yesterday and they were gone by dinner time. So it's definitely presenting some challenges with the physical part of this. But our third, our third life formula that we try to live by is our spiritual one. And this formula goes like this. One is in our family, each person gets to make the decision and thankfully they have um, to give their lives to the Lord. First and foremost is to give their life to the Lord. Secondly, is we develop that eternal relationship with Jesus Christ by spending time in God's Word and by prayer, through prayer with Him. And thirdly, is we do our absolute best to live up to the second greatest commandment, which is to love your neighbor as yourself. And when we do these things, we see our relationship with the Lord absolutely blessed, and our relationship with each other is blessed too. Um, but right now it presents some challenges, again, with the lack of structure and with all the, I guess, spare time that we have around the house, sometimes it's struggling. So I want to encourage you in those things. But you'll notice the first two life formulas that were talked about, they're very physical in nature. They deal with our finances and our health, but the third one is very spiritual. And it has, or it is spiritual, and it has a component to it that the first two don't, and that is that it's eternal. So that relationship with Jesus Christ is an eternal decision that is very different from the temporary ones that are still important, but not near as important as that eternal decision. So I want to take a moment and talk to you about, some of you may not know Jesus Christ, and I want to share with you how you can know Jesus Christ as your Savior. The Bible makes that so clear and so easy. It's in Romans 10, chapter, uh, Romans chapter 10, verse 9, where it says, If we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. It's that simple. If you don't know Jesus, I encourage you, give your life to him by simply telling him, letting him know that you believe he is Lord and that he raised his son from the dead for, for your sins. In so doing, you then can start this relationship with Jesus and grow and come to know him in a more intimate way. And that'll be happened through studying his word, reading his word, and through prayer. I'd encourage you to start in the book of John. That's such a, a great book to start in. Um, I would really encourage you to start there. Anyway, uh, I encourage you, look at these formulas. If you don't know Jesus, boy, come to know Jesus. And then secondly, if you do know the Lord, grow your walk with him during this time. And maybe step back, moms, if you can't get to the gym right now because everybody's home, and dads, if you're frustrated because there's no personal space, whatever it might be, boy, take a step back and look at the blessing of this time and try and get back to some of these basics of life's formulas. God bless you and have a good day.